Well, sitting at a desk in front of a computer all day can cause all kinds of unwanted aches and pains. You may feel there's not a lot you can do when you're stuck behind a desk, but our next guest has some tricks that can help you feel better throughout the day. Jill Johnson is a therapeutic yoga teacher. She says there are exercises you can do at work without even leaving your chair. Okay, does this really make that big of a difference in our day? Well, I'm not going to tell you anything that most people don't already know. But if you don't do something, you're going to end up in pain after sitting at that desk for up to 20, 40 years. I mean, people sit there for a long time. So how can we incorporate incorporate stretches into our day? Well, it doesn't take much. You just need to bring an awareness to your body, to your posture. There's a few things that really will make a difference. And if you just do it like every hour, I, I like to say, how often does a cat stretch? Every time it gets up off the couch, and yeah, maybe right, it's not right. for hours, but we want to do it more than that. So whenever you get up, you want to move, and you want to get up as often as you can. So i got to believe the reason that we'd want to think about this is because, especially if we're sitting at a computer all day long, is that, you know, neck, upper shoulder, yes. things I like this. this. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we do all kinds of <laughs> different of things that are, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that there's just, I mean, we're just putting stress on things that we shouldn't be stressing mm -hmm. on. Yeah, mm -hmm. how does this impact our neck? Well, we end up with a forward head syndrome, and I know I have one, um, I, and I've been doing yoga now for 20 years, and that's when the neck just kind of reaches out a bit, and that is with your cell phone, it is with your mm. mouse, it is with your TV, it's in your car, it's in your lazy boy, that's the way Americans are. Everything's rounded, and the head's mm -hmm. sticking out, not over the spinal column. So we, it's nice to do some stretches to help that and bring awareness to drawing that that head back a little. Can you show us some of those stretches? Sure. The number one stretch that has been proven to help hold a chiropractic uh, adjustment longer than anything is a neck retraction. And that is just drawing your chin back. Okay, so and we're going to do these, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Now, my first thing to say is if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Listen okay. to your body. Okay. So you're not moving anything else. You're just drawing your chin back. I don't even know if I'm doing it. Just your chin. You're just, your head's go back. You're going to feel okay. the stretch along oh, the gonna, sides uh, of the neck. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, just do three to five of those. That's a really Pearl, good stretch. <laughs> well, you don't want to stretch it forward. Oh, don't go forward. You just yeah. want to stretch it back and then relax. Kind of scrunch the neck. and. Yeah. yeah. Why do we do that? Are we trying to see better? Yeah. Well, I mean, the look, body. think about how natural, how good it feels to go like that, yeah. and you're doing this, right? Okay, so, so a lot of us who have desk jobs, it's behind a computer, so that means we're, you know, typing a lot. So right. how does this affect our wrists and hands? Well, a lot. What happens is everything. We want to first find out how ergonomic your workspace is. And don't ever stop trying to continue to get a better mouse placement, chair placement, leg placement. But when we start moving outward from our body, the, the pecs start to get a little tight, the chest rounds. And then it's just how we are. We do something like this for uh, eight hours, five days a week. Mm -hmm. You start to have issues with all, of, all sorts of things. Yeah, I could see tennis elbow. Yeah, I could yeah. see all kinds of yeah. different things that. Yeah. Carpal tunnel. So, so if we're going to do things for, you know, get up every hour to do something. Yeah. You know, what are some, are there, are there two or three basic things that we should be doing well, to kind of pull a, us out of it? Yes, a lot of times we spend rounding here, right? Th we call this the red light um, reflex, right? We're rounding in. You want to open that up, move the shoulder girdle, move the pelvic girdle, and just kind of open up your body a little bit. Roll your pelvis. Just get a good stretch. Kind of like when you wake up in yeah, the morning. That's yeah, what perfect. I'm thinking of right now. That resets your central nervous system. But neck rolls. I mean, I've yeah. always done the, do a neck roll because then you hear your neck cracking. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you don't want to. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> okay, so I'm you know yeah. I'm tight. I'm tight. Yeah. I mean, if you can roll your neck and not hear the crack, yeah. and you're okay. Right. Okay. You know? so massage a little bit with your right, finger. Self you massage feels good. The neck retraction. Roll your shoulders. Back to work. One thing I'm thinking of too. A that you wouldn't really think of doing stretches for, but what about your eyes? We're staring at this screen for so uh, long, sometimes I'll start getting like dizzy. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, we don't blink a lot, uh, and it depends on your age. If you're a younger worker, you're probably like this, you know, with your mouse. If you're an older worker, you're looking up through your bifocals, and you don't have to be that old to have bifocals. And then your <laughs> neck is really, you can see me here, and yeah. you can see me here. So that's yeah. not only working with your neck and your spine, but letting your eyes, you know, you can squeeze them tight and relax. You can open them wide and relax. You can put your hands over them and roll them. There's a lot of eye them. strain out there. Yeah. So I'm thinking, because sometimes you see uh, workers sitting in their cubes or, or what, now you can recline a little bit. Does reclining help? 
and versus you know being upright and forward. So if you have the ability to pull, pull, push yourself forward more to the keyboard, you're, and then you can recline a little bit. Is your goal is to have as neutral of a spine as possible, okay. and our neutral. spine is not straight. Our spine has natural curves, and so you want to keep that as possible. The more you start to round, and yeah. if you recline, you round a pelvis tucked under, shoulders round, arm out. Might as well be riding, driving your low ride. <laughs> <Right and dirty. laughs> yeah. That's how we do it, right? That's what right. are the benefits for doing these exercises? Oh, you feel better. You feel better. Most of the time, and you can self-correct. If you don't self-correct, you're going to pay somebody to help you when you're in pain. And, yeah. and we all, and I've, I've been to physical therapy, I've been to a chiropractor, but the more I've learned how to do some therapeutic movements, uh, I feel better. And I don't have to spend my money having other people help me. I think you, brought, you touched on it at the very beginning. It's about the, the, the awareness itself yeah. that, you're in, you know, that something's going on. And until right. most of us, until we are in pain, right. don't even pay attention to the mental yeah. part of it. Yeah. And then once you do, how much time, if you get up every hour, hour and a half or so, how much time do you actually need to spend on a few stretches before you might get yourself back in shape and can sit back down again at your workstation? Not much. In fact, the movement therapy I do called somatics, they talk about the hits your body takes. You can take a hit from an accident, a hit from sitting funny, a hit from holding the baby on a hip or a heavy purse over here or looking at your phone. So you're self-correct and you can bring your body back into that. <laughs> Uh, natural balance muscularly, structurally, what can you do? doesn't take much. But if you don't do anything, it's going to yeah. just right. continue to compensate. So you know they say it takes, what, 30 days to make something into a habit? Mm -hmm. I know firsthand that when I'm sitting there working and I have a ton to get done, I just zone out and two hours will go past. Yeah. And I'll, I'll have been sitting there that yeah. whole time. So how can we remind ourselves what are little things we can do to make sure that we're getting up every hour or Doing these well, you want to reward yourself and not beat yourself up. So pat, pat yourself on the back for remembering, right? And your number one key for reward is that we'll do more to avoid pain than to get pleasure. So you want to be able to not have that pain. Mm -hmm. Set your a little clock on your um, computer, have a friend, have a buddy at work, um, put something on your phone just to remind you it's good for your health. And the reaching for the drawer with the treats in it, that is not an exercise? Is I that don't know. Correct? I think this is an exercise. We shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, so. Get some arm <laughs> in there. Good advice. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, That's thank really you. good stuff to start the day.